I stuck with having the image as color at the beginning and I went through and I did my own black and white composition study of his piece, each, each one of his pieces. So the first one here was this girl. That was the first one I did. So black and white and trying to divide the images into that based on what I see, what I can get out of his image. I cheated with a few little lines here just to indicate the side of his body and things like that to distinct the shadows and the lights from each other. And that's what makes it clear so that I don't have the white going into white. I have this little spot here, but it's clear enough that the shadows don't meet each other. Like in this last image where his horn blends into the shadow of the background and then you, you can't see it. It's unclear. So those were those ones. This is number four. And this is interesting because when I put this filter on, which I, I just did a minute ago, just to see what it would look like in black and white, you can see that if I had three tones, they'd be very distinct tones with this image. There's the darks, there's the grays, and most of the image is gray, and then there's the background, which is white. If I were to also exaggerate that, you can kind of see that I think I did a decent job of getting the whites and the darks to be in their proper places 